Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 2023 Honda HRV right here. I'm doing a seat weight sensor recall, so I just have to do a little initialization. And we got yet another scan tool. This is the Top Don Phoenix Lite. This one just might be my new favorite. The Autofix D1 Pro has done me quite well, but this battery is pretty large in here. Screen is large. We got a camera. We got a fully flexible kickstand, which is quite nice. Oh, oh, bud. Oh, that hugs onto there. So wonderful. We have a wired, wireless VCI. So that's a juicy contradiction. Let's find the uh, DLC connector. Plug that bad boy in. Okay, got some LED indicators on here. Yep. Let's go into auto scan. Let's see how fast we can do a seat weight sensor initialization for your bot. Let's add a little bit of light here. Turn that off. The ignition is on. Beep, bop, boop. 2021, did I say 23? I was wrong. Quick access. Let's see where that takes us. Can we have some quick access here? Well, can we access quickly? This comes with uh, some cables to hook up to the battery. I believe you can do a battery test through this. There's also a oscilloscope you can buy for this thing. System Topology SRS. Where art thou? There she is. Enter. Okay. First time using a true bi-directional full scan tool from uh, Top Don. Love Top Don's uh, Top Scan Pro. It's a little wireless VCI that you use with your smartphone. And uh, let's see. One thing that can't do is this right here. See weight sensor initialization. So it kind of tells you what you have to do. Can't have any of these codes. Battery voltage, 10 volt to 15 volt. You can see voltage right here, 11.9. Seat has to be all the way back, nothing in the seat. All the way straight up on the seat back. And we will even remove stuff from out here. And we should be good to go. DTC exists, didn't like that. We're just gonna keep on going. Ignition on, ignition off. I have found you have to do this twice a lot of times, but it said, um, DTCs exist, so let's just do a quick clear. This is running through menus. Oh, she's, she's cooking. All right, code's already cleared, so we're gonna try again just like this. Beep, bop, boop, bang. Initialization has complete. Check for DTCs, ignition off. I like that you can select okay and it doesn't have to wait to register itself that you have cycled the ignition. That's very nice. Loud noises, let's check for uh, codes. Mm -hmm. We got no codes. Okay, that's it, we're done. Complete seat weight sensor initialization. Nice little wired wireless VCI. Peek a closer look at this. As you can see, the kickstand goes completely flat. So a nice little handle. Got a camera, we got speakers. Real nice little Chrome browser for you, bud. Go back to the uh, main menu here. And this is what she looks like. It's pretty simplistic. There's no uh, other pages here. Just some loud noises going on, so. Beautiful construction on this bad boy. She is a chonker. She's dense and she is thick. It's kind of a hard rubber feel on her. Some rubber little corner bits. So Phoenix Light 3. I think this runs about seven, eight hundred dollars. So this is cheaper than the Autofix D1 Pro, and I will be testing this religiously to determine if it is worth getting this over the autofix d1 pro so more videos on this soon appreciate you buds Simba.
suppose we should start shop, verify. We have no SRS light on. 40 pounds. There's yours. We have verified that these seat weight sensors are operational, so when there's nothing in this seat, this airbag does not deploy, and uh, that'll save you some money if you crash your car. There's no one in the seat. Back out of the menu. You always want to back all the way out of the menu when you're done. There we go. It gives us a nice little beep bop boop, reminding you to remove the wired wireless VCI. And we're done. If you're wondering where you can pick one of these bad boys up, uh, for your bud. Dot com. Hmm. Here's the big boy box that this comes in, by the way. I'll give you a quick peek. A little gander inside of here, because there is a ton of adapters. The Autofix D1 Pro does not come with, so a nice battery cable here. I assume to be for battery testing through the scanner. We have a charger for the vehicle. We got, uh, I'm going to figure out what this is, but this is a connector, like a headlight connector. Oh, wondering what you can do with that. Look at these adapters. Wow. Got a USB-C right here. It charges through USB-C, so really easy to charge it. And then we have all of these adapters right here, including a specific, uh, we got GM. There's a Honda. Yep, that's Honda right there. So that is for the SCS connector. So very interesting. Oh, we're gonna make some quality content for you, bud. That is a thick boy case right there. 